So this this is the Philips CDI, um, and as far as I can tell, it looks like a Betamax or maybe a VHS. Damn, even that's kind of old. I guess I'm telling my age right now. So yeah, the Philips CDI. I mean, I can imagine in '93 this was a beautiful design. I guess one of the bigger issues we got right here is there's only one video game uh, controller port. Then this is the it's still the first party controller. It's just it's real Sega Genesis esque. And if only you could feel this thing, man. It feels hollow. It feels fragile. You got your three buttons there. Curl it. These are the would you controllers like to, there. Would you like to see a CDI game? I would love to see a CDI game. Show me what. All right, this. Uh. <laughs> This is the awesome kind of games you get with the Philips CDI. When you want to educate your children forcibly, you give them a how to take, how to photograph nature game, and you give it to them on their $700 Philips CDI. Which, if you're in 1993, you spent $700 on a CDI. In you probably, in 1993, you were probably rich. Let's just put it like that. You probably had the Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> This got some weight to it, though. I, this this got some weight. Let me we see. We got some more games. Let me see another game. Awesome, awesome tennis game. Not really, but I didn't just buy shitty games like Tetris. Oh yeah, because you can get Tetris on anything. Why not on your seven hundred dollars? Or CDI? you can watch a low definition movie on three discs. Oh, low D. Now we we mentioned all the really bad games, and obviously the Zelda games, the Mario games. Um, there's a lot of really bad games on the CDI. There are some decent games available. Um, one of the best and most popular games on the system is Burn Cycle. Burn Cycle is an awesome game. It's mostly full motion video, but it's pretty good. It did get ported to PC and it might have gotten ported to another system. Don't quote me. Um, you've got games like Arcade Classics, which is just a bunch of Namco games like Pac-Man, uh, Gal Galaxy. Galaxian, whatever. I'm not that old, so I don't remember when those games came out. And then you got Dragon's Lair, and even though this game is older than I am, this was a revolutionary game, as you may or may not already be aware of, um, because it was the first game ever with full motion video. And when you saw this game in the arcade, next to Pac-Man or Donkey Kong, this kicked its ass because the characters looked like that and it plays on the CDI exactly like the arcade game. So that's pretty cool. But there are some uh, pretty bad games as well, as we'll show you next. I just, it, it feels like it should do more. This is the biggest system I've, I've seen. This thing is bigger than the Xbox One. This thing is bigger than the PlayStation 4. Oh, it's big. It's... You know what else is big? Mario. Mario, at one point, <laughs> Mario literally covered the planet. Uh -huh. He was the biggest thing on the planet. So what do you do for a successful Mario game? Old school. Think old school. Mario World. Side scroll. Jump over a few turtle shells. Save the princess. Nicely designed levels. Simplistically, but nice. Lots of power-ups. Vibrant colors. Puzzle game? Later, they, they definitely did that later. Oh, they did it early, too. <laughs> Let me reintroduce you to this bad boy. Oh. Mm. Didn't Fine. you miss it? You have the capture worker? I, I do. I know. Oh my god. Do you remember there was like a, a disc player that that was like the size of like a, a vinyl? They were in classrooms all the time. You're talking about laser disc. Yeah, laser disc. Laser uh, disc was dope compared to this piece of fucking shit. Did it freeze? Fantasy factory up there. Oh, it's just a little. Oh. <laughs> nice of the princess to invite us over for a picnic, eh, Luigi? I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Luigi, look. It's from Bowser. Dear pesky plumbers, 
the Koopalings and I have taken over the Mushroom Kingdom. Mm -hmm. The princess is now a permanent guest at one of my seven Koopa hotels. Mm -hmm. I dare you to find her if you can. We gotta find the princess. And you gotta help us. Oh. If you need instructions on how to get oh, to the hotel, check the out law, the ghost instruction book. The, piece, the animation on this one reminds me of the cartoon. Yeah, oh yeah. What's up, Mario? It's leaps and bounds better than the animation from before, that's for sure. Alright, so... It looks like it's gonna be a very entertaining game. You know? From this screen right here, this promise. Alright, so go ahead and hit that one player joint, because I'm not about to use that fucking magic wand. <laughs> that vibrator fucking Wiimote reject. Morton and his nutty group are preparing to Looks kind of peaceful. Looks are deceiving when Koopas are involved. I just can only imagine what it's going to look like when there's actually gameplay footage. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. It's like an old uh, Woody Woodpecker commercial in the cartoon. Dude. <laughs> oh, that's me? Yeah. That's me. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm already okay. Really? Oh, by comparison. Do you know what to do yet? No. Would you like me to tell you what to do? Give me a second. Oh, there we go. Go ahead and jump on that Goobas. Everyone can jump on Goobas, right? Uh, I'm proving that, uh... Well, you didn't know the jump on the Goobas. Yeah, I kind of ran kinda, into him. You kind of sniffed his ass. Go ahead and jump on that Goomba right there. Okay. See, it's nice, huh? Yeah. I mean, what? Look. Ah! <laughs> Alright, Goombas come out of doors. So what do you think the object of the game is? I think we're supposed to get to the top of the area. You let me know when you want me to tell you what the stupid... Uh, the, the, the awesome object of this game is. We should have invited Brandon over to this and he did for this I feel like I'm I'm getting to the completion of one mission. At least I did. <laughs> now I feel Like to tell you what to do. I, I am ready. The uh, mission is for Mario to close all of the doors. Huh. At least the sound effects of the doors awesome. are nice. Now, I'm supposed to know this coming in. And I'm supposed to close all the doors. That's like... Well, yeah, I mean... Because that's exactly what you think of when you play Mario game. Right. Not just destroy all of the monsters and save the princess. There's no Yoshi, there's Luigi. I don't know if he's in the two-player mode, because again, playing two players on the CDI is like pulling teeth. But... How I did you figure out that you were supposed to? Um, I actually played this one. On an emulator, it was really, really difficult. So... It's much better on the real hardware, but that's not really saying much. Now, before I... Before I go into any more details, it's better by leaps and bounds than the Zelda game. Like, don't get me wrong, the objective... Uh, uh. So the graphics are better, the music's decent. Even the cutscenes were better. Yeah, even the cutscenes were better. That's not saying much, but they were definitely <laughs> better. Now, granted, the object of the game is probably uh, worth precisely dick. But the... F what? Now, hold on. <laughs> Did I fall off the edge? What happened? I went to go get a coin and... You fell off the edge. That's not what I meant to do. This is going to be really hard, by the way, in post-op to... post-production to find all this stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. Let's do the best you can, I suppose. It doesn't need to be perfect. You're just trying to use your reactions as you guys. Alright, we're back. 
that I can jump up there and get hurt by the place. But you can't jump up to the next level. You have to take a fucking elevator. Continue. Would you like to see one more game, sir? Yes, I gotta see one more game. Alright. I'm gonna cut just for uh, extra time's sake. Good. Now, one more game I wanted to show you, Krill. This is Zelda's Adventure. Mm. The third game in the Holy Triforce, or the <laughs> Unholy Triforce, whatever you want to call it. The Holy Shit Triforce. I got a killer deal on my Zelda game up there, but I have to admit that's probably the most expensive item in my entire collection. Mm. I have a 64 disc drive, mm. got Earthbound complete in box. I worked almost a week to pay for that Zelda's Adventure, because I'm an obsessive idiot. I pay for it. <laughs> but that's besides the point. Just, just, give, give, us, give us a price tag. Give us a price tag. You on this don't want to know. Go on eBay and search it. Zelda's uh, Adventure. Uh, insert. You, you would, this man is my best friend. He would probably punch me in the dick if I told him what to this. But that beside the point, uh, I want you to tell me if I got my money's worth. Mm. I already know the answer before I even play. While uh, that loads? Maybe. All right, Philip slow this up. Okay, back on. Um, what was I gonna say? I had something important to say. I'm pretty it. sure I know the answer to this, and you didn't get your money's worth. Well, to be honest, I bought the game specifically so I could introduce you to it because you mentioned you had never played it. But at least it's scary. Oh. It's a promising little opening, huh? It's in stereo. The fanfare. I have to admit, at least the cutscenes aren't as bad. Well, depending on what you consider bad. This is Zelda's adventure. It's more like the original Legend of Zelda on the Nintendo, or like A Link to the Past, in that you are playing from a down perspective. Other than, other than a little bit in Spirit Tracks and Hyrule Warriors, Hyrule Warriors Legend, and the I4 play. Zelda, the Wanda Game on. This is the only Zelda game that controls Zelda. You do not control it. There will be no more viewing tonight. Hmm. I wonder how long it took him to grow that beard. Yes, Cole Shermack, bearer of sad news these many years ago. Bearer of sad news. So it sad. was that Ganon, Lord of Darkness, had taken over Tolanak. He had stolen the treasured celestial signs and captured Link. Mm. A brave That's warrior true. would have to be found to face this evil monster. We must make haste. Yeah, um, by definition, the cutscenes are better. Make haste, but he just said it's been many moons since and he got so the warning. <laughs> hey, the Zelda can get it, man. She's got some cakes. Zelda got cakes? I'm kidding. She got the, 90, the 90s cakes? And she's a beatless ass actress. Probably never did anything else in her career. Find your magic wand. Use it wisely. She ain't got highly in years. Here's it that they came from a reject costume of Planet of the Apes. Her costume looked like it came from a reject costume of Planet of the Apes. <laughs> She's like Dorothy from Wizard of Oz. She does got like the little pilgrim, you know what I'm saying? Got what, the, what were you saying? I'm about, about the Oregon about the Trail. Yeah, no, by definition it is better. Go ahead and choose an empty one. I actually played this one already. I think you have to say create. How do the controls treat you? Uh, at this moment, not very well. There you go, play. Just play it. Now I'll press create. Enter thy name. Um. Planet Unity, PU. PU. Describes this game. Perfect. I wonder if 
it gives you a second quest for entering the name Zelda. I really don't want a second quest. I don't even want a first quest. Please wait. There's no sand moving in that hourglass. No, that, this is Jeez, the... 1993. God. These are these awesome-ass loading screens, bro. Yeah. All right. From this moment on, I'm not going to tell you what to do because I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm like Zelda for real, like that same chick. Oh, what happened? I ran into my heart. Okay, that's me. Okay, I've pressed two buttons. One of them gave me the menu. And the third button I pressed did absolutely nothing. So, I'm moving upwards. Uh, okay, lost the heart. Still, I'm alive. There was like some green monkey muck that was following me. I came across the river. How's that music? Uh, the music is atrocious. And by music, I mean the bustling sound of the river. And then the music stops every time I cut the scene. Oh, God. Mind you, there's only about five to ten steps in each screen. And then what happens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then what happens? And then we cut screens and we load. And how long is that loading screen? The loading <laughs> takes longer than it does to get... I have known you since you were a child. You were given a difficult challenge. You will have to go far and overcome great danger. Stay calm and use your knowledge and strength to defeat your enemies. Remember what you learned along the way and persevere. Go now to the one who has a bed but never sleeps, where by his side the red willow weeps, and to its mouth that never speaks. I know this riddle. I tell it to my coworkers all the time. Uh, I will say though, they've got voice acting, which has had to got to be something close to revolutionary. It's the know. only Zelda game with any real voice acting, unless you count what was in the one, the Gamelon. And I'm sure you don't really want to see the faces of people. Wow. If not, you don't even want to see that cutscene? Uh, get me get me to the place. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know where to go. I'm talking about the other the other animated Zelda game. Oh, if you can get there, yeah. I, I'll watch that if you get there. Uh, now, this lady told me to get to the river. That's that's where the bed that never sleeps is and all that good stuff. But when I got to the river, there was nothing there. Some people say this is the best of the three CDI games. Some people say it's the worst of the three Zelda CDI games. I like those people. I'm not sure really what to say. I think this is what they should have done at the beginning, but they got too ambitious with the voice acting. The cutscene was boring as shit. I haven't seen any other cutscenes yet. Um, from what I've seen in YouTube videos, because unlike you, I've heard of this game before. Voice acting is horrible. Some of the actors don't seem to give a fuck. And by the way, Sarah, where's your weapon? You might be hasty. There is something you must have nearby here. Exploration is the key to your success. Believe it or not, you're already farther than I am. Exploration is going to get me killed. Oh, there it is. The wand. You got the wand. You're farther than I was. You hear that? No. Oh. It slapped somebody. That's on the catcher card. <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> block her name up. You all the block her, her name out of you. Oh, oh. I'm a dog. Oh, God. Oh. oh no. One more try. You got yeah, the weapon. I got the weapon. I got to, I got to, I got to kill something with the weapon. I'm not exaggerating. There may be hundreds of items in this game. There are literally dozens. There may be hundreds. I don't know because I don't really care enough. But there are so many items that later in the game. Wow. And the CDI, ladies and gentlemen, is taking a dump. That might be a sign. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the sign. It might have taken a shit on us. So, uh, 
the Philips CDI, uh, just took the crap on us. Uh, right after uh, Zelda's adventure, couldn't even, I mean, we got the wand, I killed a bad guy, maybe two, and then it just kaputs. Um, with over two to three decades worth of other video game and equipment that we have in, in our lab, the, C, uh, the CDI couldn't stand the test of time. I mean, it was only made in the 90s, 93. Uh, you know what it was? It couldn't handle the unholy Triforce. The power of Link and Zelda combined with a little Mario added in for flavor. It just couldn't handle it, dude. Between the Triforce, uh, the unholy Triforce, Zelda Adventures, the other two games, as well as Hotel Mario, I guess it, just, it was just too much for it to handle, you know, in uh, 2016. So, uh, whatever the case, uh, shout out to Philips uh, DVD players. Uh, cellular devices, uh, TVs, but CDI wasn't meant to be. What do you think Philips could have done to make their system a little bit better? Um, probably drop it off a bridge. <laughs> yeah, uh, easily the worst gaming system I've ever played in my life. Uh, especially now that it, it, it just took a dump on us. I mean, I'm talking about we got uh, a virtual boy over there that we can get it up and running right this second if we needed to, but... Hey, we can get down on some Mario Clash, you don't want to. Yeah, man, Let's get, I like more tennis myself, but, you know, but whatever the case, man, thank you guys for watching. Uh, rate, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, please check us out in the upcoming weeks when we got some more stuff for you. So, thank you guys, and make sure you guys, uh, <laughs> make sure you guys don't spend $700 on the, uh, the CDI. Thank Fuck you. that shit! <laughs>